Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos, I have been working on developing a lectures management system using PHP Coordinator, Ajax and jQuery. In my last video, I completed the functionality of displaying these links on the header and this search box as well. And I also worked on displaying this drop down where the default user image is displaying at the top of this drop down with set of options like add profile view profile change password and log out okay so these things we had covered in our last video okay so apart from these features i also work on displaying this register home links whenever user is in the login page displaying the login and home page whenever user is on the register page and displaying login and register links whenever user is on the home page okay so all these things we had covered in our last video and in this video we will discuss about designing the ad profile form okay so let, let me just show you that okay so now I have logged in as a normal user when a normal user gets logged in the user will get a message is user dashboard okay so since I have not designed this user page now okay so now if the normal user wants to update their profile then the user needs to go to this drop down and he needs to click on this add profile option then this page will get start displaying to the user from where the user can add personal detail qualification detail professional detail and skill details okay qualification professional and skills details okay and we have further functionalities where a user can add the skills or editors edit the skills view the skills and delete the skills okay so that we will going to cover in our upcoming videos so now when the user gets logged in for the very first time then user will see a card on the left side of the page where user can see the default image username this username I'm getting from the session which I have stored when the user gets logged in okay and followers and following count this will also we work on upcoming videos okay apart from this uh, image and username we will also going to display the department and the designation of that user okay so that information department designation and then profile image will immediately will get displayed to the user when that user uploaded their personal information inside this system okay so in this video we will be going to cover about designing this page this ad profile page okay so before starting developing this ad profile page I would like to tell you guys that if you guys have liked this video click on like button share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so that whenever I upload any new video you guys can get the notification of that video again okay? so now let us start our discussion so first we need to go to our header.php file where I have created this link which is add profile okay so whenever a user click on this add profile I'm sending a request to user controllers add profile function okay let me just show you that on the header page so here you can see I have created a link user slash add profile user is the name of the controller and add profile is the function name which I have created inside this user controller and this is the label okay so whenever I click on this add profile link add profile function of a user controller will get called okay so let me just go to that user PHP file so here I have created that function add profile inside this function I have taken the user ID information from the session and I have assigned that data to this user ID okay next here I have called a check personal info function which I have created inside the user model okay inside this models I have created a file with the name as user model see inside this user model I have created a class with a name as user model which extends to code igniter model and inside that I have created a function check personal info function okay so now let us come back to this file 
a moment later okay so now here i am making a call to this check profile info function which accepts the user id as a parameter and gets the row of the user details if and only if that user has uploaded their personal information inside the system okay so now let us first go to our add profile so here in add profile file i have included the header file at the top and i have also included footer at the bottom and in between that i have created a container okay and a row and then inside that row i have created a div with a column of 3 see i have created a three columns div inside the row and i have created a ul with a class uh, with the id of users so this three column div is this card okay so for designing this card i have created this three column div and inside this three column div i have created a unordered list with an id of users and then i have displayed the default image which i have stored inside the assets image folder okay let me just show you that inside the assets folder i have an image folder inside that image folder i have created that avatar.jpg file which is the default image and this image will get displayed to the user if the user has not uploaded their profile okay so this is the default image okay then i have created a card with a class of card content and inside that i have displayed the name of the user who is currently logged in and that user name details i am also getting from the session okay see this which is this username detail okay next i have created an another div with a class as followers and inside that i have created a table to display the followers and following count uh, for that user okay so this functionality will be going to cover in our upcoming videos okay so now when the user has not added their personal details till that time this default image and username only will get displayed inside this card okay once the user uploaded their personal details inside this ad profile page then this default image will get replaced immediately with the image that user has uploaded and other information such as department and designation will start appearing on this card that will only happen when that user add their profile okay so for that here i have created an another div inside the else condition okay so now here i have included if condition and here inside this if condition i am checking if the user has not uploaded their personal data okay so which is in this case now user has not uploaded any personal information now in this case when user has not uploaded any information of that profile at this time i will be displaying this default card which i have created inside this if condition okay which starts here and gets end here okay and in the else condition what i am displaying is inside the else part i am creating the same due okay here which gets ended here inside the else part i have written the same coding and user will see this card only when that user has uploaded their personal detail okay now let me just come here and let me just show you that okay so now when user has uploaded their personal detail then control will come here inside this else part and this card will get displayed to the user where i have displayed the profile image which user has uploaded and uh, their username which i will be taking from the session okay and then the department detail and then the designation detail okay 
all this information regarding user file department and designation I will be getting from the personal table because at this point of time user will be uploaded their personal information that's why that record will get saved inside the personal table inside the database and for getting that information of user file department and designation I have written a function here with the name as check personal info okay so now when the user has stored their personal details inside the table then this function will return that row and that row will get returned inside this controller here okay so here this personal data will hold the entire information of that user and now I am passing that row inside the add profile view okay which I will be going to collect in my add profile page here okay so I hope you guys have understood okay this is, this is everything about creating this card which I have given on the left side of this page okay now the next thing is we need to work on creating this tab based design okay whenever I want to upload my personal detail I will be clicking on this personal tab and then personal details form will get appear whenever I want to upload my qualification details then qualification details tab will get open with their specific form elements like this professional and skills details okay so for creating this kind of design here I have created a uh, another due with a uh, six columns which has a class of tabs and then inside that I have created a UL unordered list with a class of tab links and ID as my tab okay and then role as tab list okay, and then here I have created a list first list is for displaying personal information okay and to this I have given the ID of the personal due which I have created here okay so this is the first due personal due which shows you the message as personal details so to this first link of personal okay so this personal qualification skills and professional all these four links are these four tabs okay so to each and every of this tab I have link the ID of these dues which shows you the message as professional details okay these two buttons due personal details due okay so to this each and every tab I have passed the ID of these dues so that whenever I click on these tabs the associated due should get linked or should get open okay that's what I have done it here okay so in the href attribute I have pass the ID of the due which I want to open whenever I click on this personal tab okay so to this personal link I have given the ID of the personal due which I have created here okay here as you can see here is the ID okay and in the second link which is qualification link to this link I have given the ID as qualification and this is the same ID which I have created here okay as you can see here ID as qualification then in the third link I have passed the ID as professional and this is the, the and this is the ID of the due which have created here okay professional and then for the fourth link I have passed the ID as skills in the href attribute Okay. and this ID I have given to the due here at the bottom okay save it okay so now I hope you guys have understood okay so here as you can see skill ID is displaying okay so now by passing the ID of these dues inside these links I have 
manages to display these dues whenever user click on these tabs okay so now i hope you guys have understood okay next is then i have created an another due with a three column which comes here okay which is this section where i will be going to display the list of the followers okay so now apart from writing down the html markup for developing this functionality of tab based system we i have also created a jquery file which i have kept inside my js folder with a name as tabs jquery.js so here in this jquery file i have written down the jquery code which helps me to develop this functionality okay so now i hope you guys have understood how to develop this functionality of tab based system okay so this is the javascript code which i have written for developing that functionality okay so you also need to include this tabs jquery.js file in your header at the top here see i have also included that file okay so and apart from including this tabs jquery file i have also written some css styling okay so this users i have created a user id and for that user id i have given this styling for users users list as you can see here let me just take you to that place see for this user id i have written this css coding okay users users li just for this li okay and then followers styling for followers do okay just come here this is this one okay i have i had created a followers class for that class i have given this styling and then i have a tabs class okay here for this tabs class i have created this styling okay tabs links class okay i have a tab links class into this tab links class also i have written down the css styling okay and there are few stylings for li which comes under tab links okay which is this one then a styling for a tag or the link which i have created inside the tab links which is for this anchor tag okay then whenever i want to hover whenever i will be hovering on these tabs i want this kind of effects okay so for that here i have written that css styling okay okay and this one is for the content of the tab and this one is for active tab and these two add skills and add skills hover and focus effect is for these add skills and edit skills links okay so that was the styling for the add skill and edit skill buttons okay so uh, this is what we had written uh, the both html both html and uh, jquery and php code for designing this ad profile page okay uh, so i hope you guys have understood everything how we have designed this complete ad profile page okay and in the next video we will come up with developing the functionality of adding this personal information for that user okay so uh, that's all for this video guys and thanks for watching